Hi there, welcome to Be A If you're looking to make your career using Microsoft Fabric and you want to get certified, then this video is for you. There are multiple certifications available from Microsoft Fabric site. That means either you can do a comprehensive Microsoft Fabric Certified Associate Engineer certification exam or you may go for a specialized one. But which one is the specialized one? Well, if you would like to know and you want to clear your certification exam, then this video is for you. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me on PI Consulting Pro. In this video, we are going to talk about specialized certification exam for Microsoft Fabric. So which one is it? Earlier last year, Microsoft team released Microsoft DP600 certification exam for Microsoft Fabric. And there are lots of people are pursuing that because Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end data and analytics platform. Whether you are a BI engineer, data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, real-time analytics engineer, or you would like to make your career using AI, Gen AI, then this is a perfect tool for you. This is not just a tool, it's actually a platform where multiple experiences are there and with the help of that, you can cater your end-to-end -end data analytics needs. Now, the real question comes, how to start with it? Well, if you're new to Microsoft Fabric, then we have already created videos. So please do check the links below in the description section, which are gonna help you out to get started with Microsoft Fabric. And not only that, it's gonna help you to prepare for your DP600 exam. However, if you are a data engineer or you would like to make your career as a data engineer, then you have to gain certain specialized knowledge or certain specialized skill set. Well, for that, Microsoft has recently released DP700 exam, which is now generally available. It was earlier available in the beta version where some of the participants have already passed it. But now, since it's generally available, so anyone can start with it. And not only that, there's a particular course available for this certification exam. So now, just focus on your screen. Over here, you would find this Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate exam. And this is specifically designed for the data engineers. So if you want to prove your skill set in the data engineering domain, and you would like to also work with the Microsoft Fabric platform, then this certification is for you. Over here, you would get to know as a fabric data engineer, you should have subject matter expertise with data loading patterns, data architecture and orchestration processes. That means you are going to work on the data ingestion part, data transformation part, data loading part, and also maybe you are going to work on the different aspects of that particular data engineering domain. That can be anything. Sometimes you have to work on the data modeling side, data warehousing side, or maybe at the lake house side. If you would go below on this page over here, you would find certain other information like its level is intermediate, product is Microsoft Fabric, role is data engineer, and subject is data engineering. Now, we would go further and here you would see how to prepare for this exam. If you would like to go through the Microsoft documentation, I'll provide you the link in the description section. However, we are always there to help you out. And that's why every time when a new certification exam is coming in the data and AI, we are here for you to create a particular tutorial series. And for this one also, we are starting. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe now, hit the bell icon and also join our channel to support us. By this way, you are going to be always up to date with our latest videos about this particular course or any other course for Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, or maybe you are looking to learn Databricks or AI. Everything you are going to get over here at BI Consulting Pro. Now, we are going to start this series. Starting next week, you are going to get one video each week on this exam and one another video probably on some other topic, that, whether that's related to Microsoft Fabric or Microsoft Power BI or maybe you're going to get more videos on Databricks and AI. Now, going further, you would find certain other tools over here. But before going to the tools or before going to particular areas, let me remind you, you can schedule your exam through Pearson and you have to pay 165 USD if you are in the United States. However, for India, if you are resides in India, then the fee is quite cheaper. And then you have to search for India over here. And you can see that over here, fees is just 4,865 INR. However, this is excluding taxes. So that means you may have to pay extra taxes as well. But I think around five and a half K, you can appear for this certification exam. If your organization is already approving this certification exam for you, or you have some training budget, then please ask your organization or your manager too. That may help you a lot. Not only that, guys, if you are following our videos, then I always create a video whenever a new Microsoft Ignite or Microsoft Cloud Skill Learning Challenge is coming in. And that way you can go through that particular challenge, 
after that you get one certification voucher but it's not available all the time and also for some particular candidates maybe starting 500 or 1000 something like that over here if you would go there there is an exam dp 700 guide which i'm just going to show you but the most important part is certification poster if you're still not clear in your mind that which certification exam you have to go then i'm going to let you know over here in this video how you can decide using this certification poster there's going to be some sandbox if you would like to try like over here you would get to know that experience demo you can launch the sandbox you can appear it and i'm going to provide you this link in the description section so please just go to the description section click on the link and start learning now now we are going to move to the another phase where you are going to prepare for dp 700 exam i always tell everyone that there are three steps to clear any exam very first go through microsoft documentation secondly watch our videos or you can reverse this process you can first watch our videos and then you can go to the microsoft documentation but the third part is very important you have to practice for your certification exam there are plenty of free question answers are available but if you need certain specific question and answers then we can also help you to provide them or we can guide you where you can start learning that's how it works so guys follow these three steps and i'm sure you are gonna clear your certification exam this certification guide is available where you are going to get to know what is the purpose of this document what are different aspects of this exam for example languages note etc then there's going to be skill measure like what kind of audience should be i have already told you it's for data engineers you are going to need some experience in certain languages sql is the number one so as a data engineer you must know sql python pyspark for the others and then kql kql is push to query language which is very similar to sql so if you know sql you can definitely do with the kql then there's a some segregation among these different skills and then you will get to know more and more information if you will go through that one i'm not going to go to each and every step of this one but please do check the link in the description section and you will get to know about that now i'm coming to the last part where we are going to talk about how you can become a microsoft certified engineer or you can talk about microsoft certified data analyst or ai engineer data engineer or maybe you are talking about how to become a microsoft certified solution architect over here if you are going to zoom in you would find that there are different aspects on microsoft azure platform whether you want to go into the infrastructure part data and ai digital app innovation or you would like to go to modern work business solutions or applications and security you have to choose one of these fields maybe it's going to overlap to one to another as well for example microsoft azure admin part is both at the infrastructure side as well as data and ai side that can also happen you may also need a knowledge of data security if you are an administrator or a solution architect so i'll tell you how you can go through that over here you will see data and ai which is my favorite topic guys if i'm going to be very honest with you then this is the era of ai and gen ai specifically where we want to achieve a lot of proficiency in our day-to-day -day work using gen ai where we can type something and we can get answer of it so if you are also looking forward to make your career in data and ai then very first I'll suggest you start with this exam, which is our Azure fundamental exam, which is going to let you know what is cloud computing, what are the different aspects of cloud computing, such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and much more than that. You will get to know what are the different services available in Microsoft Azure, how you can start utilizing it, and which services are catered to what kinds of audience. Once you've done that, if you really want to go into the AI, data and AI, then you have to also go through the Azure AI fundamentals and Azure data fundamentals. These are really important exam certifications. Once you are done with that, then you can start with the Azure AI certification exam and Power BI data analyst. If you have to make your career specialized in Microsoft Fabric only, then right now there are only two certification exams available. DP600, which you can see over there, and there's a DP700. DP700, which we are talking about in this video, is specialized for data engineers. However, if you would like to go through the Microsoft Azure services, then DP203, which is Azure Data Engineer Associate exam, is very much relevant to you. Then there's Azure Data Scientist Associate and Azure Database Administrator exam. These are really, really important for you. Please do not skip that. If I'll come down, then there's also one more exam, Azure Cosmos DB Developers exam. Now, you must be wondering from where to start. There are lots of certification exam, isn't it? Well, if you really have to start, then I'll give you this idea. Go with the AC900 exam very first. After that, you have to do this DP900 exam. Once you do these two certification exam, you can start making your career into the data field. Then go with the DP, uh, then you have to go with the PL300 for Power BI certification exam. Because you are gonna start your journey as a data analyst and where you have to do a lot of data visualization part. 
So start with PL300 over here. Once you do the PL300, you can also go with the Azure Data Engineer. Then you have two choices. Either go with the Azure Data Engineer Associate if you particularly want to be only in the Data Engineer field. However, if you would like to get a paste of all the different experiences, go with the DP600. Now, when it's going to come to choose between uh, Azure Data Engineer Associate or Fabric Data Engineer Associate, then you can choose DP600, DP700 or DP203. But I would suggest you go through all and Azure Database Administrator is also going to be very important for you. Lastly, you can go with the Cosmos DB and then rest of the AI exams. So this is how guys, you can become a certified data engineer in Microsoft Azure or Microsoft Fabric. You have to choose which path you want to follow. Do you want to cater all the different uh, do you want to cater all the different analytics needs for your organization and you want to get overall experience then go with the dp600 if you would like to become proficient in one particular segment then i would suggest you go with the dp700 exam and if you are looking to learn more about dp700 exam then please wait for our next video where we are going to start our dp700 certification exam journey this is it for this video guys please do support us by joining this channel share this video with your colleagues and friends and also do hit the like button so that this video can reach out to many other people who are looking to learn more into the data and AI field. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring the world of data, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.